since the damages caused on many of the Turks and Caicos Islands as a result of Hurricanes Ike and Hanna, many residents have questioned the British government's involvement in the restoration efforts. During the Abundant Life West Road Mission Relief, His Excellency Governor Gordon Weatherall took the time to answer some of these questions. Well, I mean, there's a lot of different things that have happened uh, already. I mean, the, uh, the Royal Navy was here within hours of the, uh, of the uh, hurricane, and its task was to give initial, uh, if you like, emergency assistance until other agencies were able to, uh, uh, to take on that uh, task. And again, it's the sorts of things that I was mentioning uh, earlier with tarpaulins, uh, distribution of food, with water, which they were producing on board the two ships that they had uh, here. His Excellency Governor Weatherall said there have been a number of indirect and direct ways the British government has stepped in to give assistance. Uh, there was, uh, if you like, more indirect uh, assistance through the, uh, the funding that, uh, that the British government provides for organizations such as uh, CIDERA, yes. such as the, uh, the insurance uh, fund which has paid out, uh, I think, $6.3 million. Yes. I mean, that fund is partly... Uh, funded by the by the British government to the tune of I think 10 million uh, 10 million dollars. There's funding for the Red Cross, for example, who are able to use that to uh, also to send in tarpaulins and other and other supplies. So there's been a, a a variety of if you like direct and indirect ways in which the uh, the British government has been involved uh, already. Governor Weatherall said that the next step in the recovery phase for the British government is to await the report of the ELAC team which is the UN's Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean. The team was here last week briefing the Cabinet and Disaster Management Policy Group on their findings during assessments of the hurricane damage. Governor Weatherall said that he is expecting ELAC to produce the report within the next week or two. For WIV4 News, I'm Jody Harvey.